so this is a get ready with me chit chat i haven't done one of these in like a honestly i want to say like a year like a like a year and i'm genuinely sorry but i'm trying to be back on my tiktok youtube instagram facebook um twitter um what's anyone threads zoom like i'm on my zooms i'm trying to get back into everything you know road senge but i'm gonna start with some eye masks because i think i look a bit tired and i'm not trying to look tired when i'm outside like i said already in my uh graduation uh, YouTube video that I'm in my makeup era like I'm really trying to get on my makeup zoom because I want to like I do wear it small small I want to do it better and properly and to the extent where I'm a makeup girly that like, you get like I want to I want to give more than I'm giving already like I want to be that girl and I feel like this is why you need to talk to your, your YouTube people them because when you tell people like what you're after i think it like shows them you, you're doing things with intent you're doing things like with a purpose when you're just doing things and you're not like navigating it with some sort of like meaning it doesn't it's, it's useless so where am i going today you might ask so as you know it's still graduation season and last week my friend daniela sorry i'm putting my contacts in i can't think and talk and put my contacts in daniela graduated and so today she's having like a surprise dinner at sumo san twiga however you flip and pronounce that place i don't know i've never been there before and i hope it's good because i was reading some of the reviews and i was getting mixed reviews so let's see i might even do a, a cheeky review for my tiktok why not why flipping not Okay, my contact's in my eye, but it just feels very disorientated and it's making me upset. Okay, so speaking of TikTok, lols. So I was on TikTok uh, last week, I think it was, what day is today? Today's Wednesday. No, today's Tuesday. I was on TikTok last week and I was on live. Like, I've been trying to go on TikTok live a bit because typically I only go on TikTok live when I'm on holiday. Because like, I'm on holiday, like I'm of course going to be doing more interesting things and things that if you're watching someone on live it's gonna be like entertainment i suppose you could say and then so i was just in my room on live like minding my business as you do and then i must have like mentioned my boyfriend in like a passing comment i can't remember what i said and then someone was like oh how long have you been with a boyfriend for and questions like that i get them like quite often like when i show him and stuff not that i'm hiding him but like when he's like on my page people are like oh how long have you two been, been together and so of course i replied and i said how me and my boyfriend have been together for four years at the time it was four years in a month or like in like, two weeks or whatever and they were like no way you've been together for four years and he hasn't put a ring on it be freaking for real <laughs> like be actually freaking for real somebody and then i think like two other people said it as well there was like how have you been with him for so long and he hasn't put a ring on it and to be fair there were like a couple people in the live being like she's literally 21 like come on like people have such a warped perception of time i feel like and i feel like people love to watch people too much and like i get like of course with doing social media even if you post your boyfriend your girlfriend your significant other whatever for five seconds people want to know and i get it because i've seen people's instagrams and people's tiktoks and i see them and i'm like oh like how long i've been racking together like is this a new boo or what but for people to for someone or like two people to say to me he hasn't put a ring on it yet is crazy and it's so crazy because i'm actually a small girl i'm actually a small girl like i literally just graduated last week basically and so my uh, uh, this is the second time this happened on live so i went on live i think again the week before so it wasn't within the last two weeks i've been on instagram live and someone said to me um like you haven't he hasn't put a ring on it and i don't know whether this is a guy or a girl or whoever commenting on my page saying he hasn't put a ring on it but like i just feel like people would just have crazy um like 
perceptual things or maybe maybe they think I'm older than that I am because I know you've all been on Twitter and you've seen like a girl saying oh me and my boyfriend been together like seven years and then people are like oh auntie go and sit down why hasn't you put a ring on it and they're like their late 20s or like their early 30s or whatever the case may be but bro I'm literally still 21 he is 21 we're babies together like come on so when people <laughs> say these crazy things, I'm like, y'all is actually crazy. Like, be for real. And the crazy thing is, if we were getting married, let's say we're getting married tomorrow or something, people would even still be like, why are you getting married so early? This is weird. And Ray and I were discussing it because it's actually a thing where people be like, oh, um, they ex there there's this idea i find like when i say to people that me and my boyfriend have been together for four years basically next week um we've been together four years that like, people get like whoa that's a long time like when you get married one okay or they'll be like um uh it would be a shame if you break off and like you guys find your real people then and like someone said that on my live again and i'm like maybe i'm the problem i'm the problem for going on tiktok live and people are just spreading their uh their craziness on top of on, on my comments because what the hell is that meant to mean like people making comments saying it'll be a shame if we were to break up after all those years and we find our real lovers what <laughs> what and that's one thing i would say and i've like noticed for, should i say that on youtube i don't get any weird comments like that like I've never been live on YouTube, but I have like shown my boyfriend on my channel multiple times. There's actually like videos, and he's like the main character in the video, other than me. Do you get? It? So it's not like he's hidden on this platform. But I just feel like TikTok just gives people this like perception where they're allowed to just give a free range of comments on like your relationship, and it's like it's it's more wild than instagram because instagram used to be wild for that but i think nowadays instagram has low-key cool down unless you're on like blogs but like i'm not a celebrity to be on the blog pages i'm just daily character and that you get that you get but still people be doing all them type of craziness and it's just so wild but yeah that was my tiktok drama and it's been coming up twice but i just ugh. yeah it's just crazy but but the last thing i would say on this topic is that People commenting these things is just crazy because if me and my boyfriend have been together since we were 17 and we're now 21, of course it's going to sound like a long time. If I'm like, oh yeah, I've been together for four years, it's going to sound like years, days, months, a whole lifetime. But in the grand scheme of it, if you're like an adult, four years is not a long time. Like, our relationship, my boyfriend says all the time, our relationship only started when we turned 20. <laughs> he was like, now we're getting the real stuff. So technically our relationship's only two years old. Like, he's like... We've been together for a minute, but like when you get in your twenties, that's your real relationship. Like you get, that's, it's no more like teenage love. It's like big people sing thing, but not marriage sing thing. You understand? This hair is straightening beautifully. I feel like I can go a bit more straight. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna take these off now because I think my eyes have like, oh, oh, it's giving fresh faced. It's giving. It's given. So, back to my TikTok live drama. What another thing people were coming up and like asking, should I say, was how do you maintain a relationship with someone for four years? And I would say, honestly, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Long social, I don't know. Like, I wasn't really like, my thing is I didn't expect me and Joe to be in a relationship, like, I thought we were just gonna like talk for two, three weeks and like that was that. Like I didn't expect us to like be in a relationship, be four years deep. But honestly, it was so unexpected that like, I could not have pictured it. I'm being so ghetto. I'm gonna be so real with you guys. I'm being so ghetto. I my back sick from Emma's parlor. Look how old it is. It's finished. I scraped it out with my nail and I'm just putting it on my head like this because I need my wax stick. I need my hair flats like. I'm not even gonna use a hot comb either because I hate hot combs. But 
But yeah, back to the topic. Um, I didn't expect to be in a relationship, is what I'm saying. And so when people ask me how do I maintain it and stuff, I would say it's 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 it can be difficult because let's say like Joseph and I, we started going out when I was in my first year of college. No, technically it was when I was going into my second year of sixth form, whatever. So he's literally known me since I was 17. And now I've finished university. So he's seen me in like three different eras. Like he's seen me in like sixth form era. Now he's seen me in the university era. <laughs> and now look at me now. I'm literally in my YouTuber era. And it's so crazy because when you're together younger, I find you change more than when you're older. Because when you're younger, you're finding yourself. As cliche as it sounds, like you're you're understanding yourself. Like things change. Like when we first started going out, we would get I would get well, he would get capped because he did not go on the bus. First of all, Joseph is bougie. Uh, I would be getting the bus down. Like what DB said. Like remember you used to get the bus down. That was literally me. And then he would get cab and like we'll meet up or whatever. And things were just different, you know? Like now, you're driving together. So I feel like when you're in relationships younger, you change way more. Like things just get different, like, you know? I think when you're younger, th because of like, your constant changing, like whether you're changing from sixth form to university, from university to out of university to like a professional job or whatever the case may be, you're gonna constantly be adapting into a new person and whether like you want to admit it or not so you have to literally grow with that person if you're willing to make it work and my thing is i'm not with him to say that i'm with him for like 100 years i'm just with him because like he's actually my friend at this point and like, it's like we've got a mutual friend best friendship and i feel like people ask out a lot on tiktok especially like if i'm on live with him or if i posted a video or whatever people ask those type of questions and it's honestly it's literally just about like growing together and that's if you're young but honestly if you're young i wouldn't recommend being in a relationship which is i suppose you could say contradictory to everything i'm just saying right now and the reason why i wouldn't was because like honest like focus on yourself and i feel like the girlies nowadays are younger than me which is crazy because i feel like i'm a young girl which i am they are like eager to have man 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 and I don't know if I was eager to have man, 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 but I was just talking to people. You, like, it's different. Like, I wasn't necessarily looking for a relationship. I was just talking for fun. Like, do you get? <laughs> like, do you actually get? That's the difference. Boy, I'm trying to make sure my hair has not a bend in the world. Please tell me why my camera ran out of storage. That's so rude. I honestly was trying so hard to remember what I was saying. This hair is giving straight, man. Let's just hope the front door is saying hello because if the front door is saying goodbye, then I'm a I'm a cry. Always straighten the back of your hair on my days. If you don't do that, that's why you have be having ridges in the back of your hair. Always straighten the back. Like even if you're doing it rough like this, what I'm doing now, always straighten the back. Nowadays, I be getting excited to do my makeup because I'm really trying to be in my makeup girl, my makeup girly era, and like I've kind of fixed my current makeup my makeup routine even so i want to do like a tutorial and show the girlies like what i'm doing because i've been getting questions about it and like on my graduation day bianca and joseph thought someone did my makeup they were like it was so nice and i was like so what are you trying to say about the other times i've been doing my makeup babes what are you trying to say oh this is a mess let me just comb my hair back so i can well these edges okay right now my frontal is giving i stuck it myself well no it's actually not even giving because if i stuck it myself it would look way flipping worse but it's giving boxy hot comb this off camera and honestly she is eating down like actually eating down like eating i would have done it on camera but um I put my hot comb on that side so that Elizabeth can get ready on that side because I have two mirrors. That's why I'll be looking over there when I'm doing my videos, if you was wondering. Um, but I'm not actually wearing this behind my ear, or maybe I should. I don't know, it's cute though, but I, I do need it out my way. But now I'm going to do this side of my um, edges. 
on my frontal, should I say. And honestly, the frontal, of course, is the most important bit. I think that's like quite obvious. But it's so important that it has to be on point. Like, so, so. <laughs> If you don't know, people always ask me as well, like, who does your hair, who does your hair, who does your hair, who does your hair? M's flipping parlor. Like, Mary is the only one that does my frontals, and I just feel like she just eats every single time. And so she eats so much, I don't do my frontals myself. And, like, I would love to be that babe that can stick her hair down and do all those stuff. That is not me. You're, like, within the last, like, two years, I think I've stuck my frontal down five times like get somebody else to do it like literally like them so yeah as i was saying guys so there was this tweet and the person was like ah oh, you do your hair yourself and they was like that's not the bad thing but they was like but it looks like you do your hair yourself and so when i saw that i thought that's kind of funny because certain times no shade no tea you'll see videos and that girls hairs that like they did it themselves and that's the thing if i do my hair my hair would look like i did it myself so that's why m's parlor is why is what is what is on my head so every time someone asks me i'm just like no i don't really stick my hair myself the most i'm going to do is re-straighten it recurl it and slick it like be for real i don't have those facilities Doing edges is actually the worst bit of your hair because I hate doing edges so bad because it never turns out right. See, like, see, guys, a little gets me. It doing it's the right. worst, and it's like, why don't my edges look how? How they are? How they really done? And another thing is that, like, if you want it to be fluffy, like that edge is not like it's not Bro. there at all, like at all. I do what exactly Mary told me to do. I go, I try to fluff it out myself. Yeah. It don't fluff out. Mm. But I don't feel like I'm ready to go to this whole no edge life thing yet. No, I'm not mature enough. Yeah, I find that kind of I'm not mature enough for no edges. Yeah. Bianca hates edges and I get it because you're a big woman. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Like, you're, you're, you're grown and like, I get it. Not quite for me yet. So wait, <laughs> this is fun that I've got Elizabeth on the camera with me. Well, on the, in the back. So wait, so you're not mature enough for no edges, but you're mature enough for almond nails. Girl, I'm not mature enough for almond nails. <laughs> I tried to be different and I realised like sometimes it's good to be the same. It's good. Martina was like at your birth at your I keep calling them birthdays, you know. What? Yeah, Let's that's what I was calling you the birthday girl like all Yeah. Um, graduation. So let's just say birthday because it was just yeah. easier. What the hell? So Martina was like at your birthday, oh um don't you get bored of doing square? I was like, no, because smile lines and like French tips. It's, just, like it's just classic. Look. Look. Like it's just a classic. Be real. Look. And this almond, like, you know when almonds, um, you know like when it loses its sharpness, it's not It just sharp. looks like... It just looks like an egg. Like, honestly, it, it's it doesn't not give. given at all. I can't wait to take these off. Okay, so my makeup is actually really, really eaten, and I wish I could have done a full tutorial, guys. But me and this Justin, but my outfit is super cute. I'm doing my lip gloss now, and it's gonna be adorable. So for the lip, lip liner, I used Lips London Boutique in the shade. I don't even know what the shade is. Sorry, I'll try to find out and put on the screen. Then we used Elf. This Elf one is a lip plumping one so as you know I have small girl lips so I use this one so it gives me a bit of a va va voom because I'm not going to get lip filler I, I considered it at one point but now I'm like I think I'm above it now like, I don't want it say no to lip filler say no okay this is on it's literally like a clear it's not any colour but it's just for my plumping purposes then I'm going to use Lip Salon Boutique again in Los Angeles super cute then I'm gonna use this elf one. And then perfect, a little cute 
Okay, so that is the end of my chit chat, get ready with me, talk video or what not. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna do more because you know we've got more to discuss. We're gonna start talking about topics like what's popping, UK gossip, who knows. I think the makeup's giving. I think I should do an uh, uh English. I think I should do an in-depth tutorial. But that is all. Hope you enjoyed the look. I'm gonna insert some pictures if I remember. Love for the love, my G's, and I'll see you in my next video.